So it turned out that it's surprisingly difficult to make the holes even. I made a couple of attempts, they're still not perfect. But for now, we have this piece that goes like this. And we need to find a way to glue it inside. And then we need this piece and we need to glue that as well to bolt the other piece and the structural component. So the next thing we need to do is to add the two servo motors and to install them at the tail assembly. This is what's going to control the V-tail and it should look something like this. Now unfortunately I don't think I will be able to hide the cable through here. I think I'm just going to wire them through the underneath. All right, so I applied the glue. So this is the correct orientation. And then we just place it in. Yeah, that should do it. And now we do the other one. Apply the glue again. It's time to attach the wings. All right, so next up, we need to cut the carbon tubes that are going to support the rear wings. Now this is precision. All right, the goggles up and let's cut. Now let me tell you, these carbon fiber tubes are tough. Let's try this one. I think maybe this one will fit. Nope. Okay, so my two brain cells came together and decided to actually do it the other way around. So I just stick it in as far as I can and then I mark the point where I need to cut. So that should be much easier. to now glue the wing together. We already have one carbon rod inside. We have another cut to size. So I think we need to glue and pray. Oh, come on. I glued the wrong side. <laughs> All right. Now that's bad. And that's why you don't do these things late at night. Now, let's do the correct side, which is this one. Now we insert this one. And we try to glue the wing in the correct place. Now we use this one to push it all the way through. Okay. And now we quickly need to insert this one all the way in. It worked out okay, with the exception of this little nib here. That's nothing we can fix. And now we can glue the tip. So far, so good. Let's do the other side. Right, now that we have both of the wings, we can insert it into the tail. Fix it with the screw. All right. So next, I will. Uh, 
yeah that's gonna be fun and then I need to extend the servo cables extend the electric motor cables and wire them through the pipe as well so that everything goes to the fuselage so as you can see the drone is now in a much more finished state and what's left for me to do today is to solder cables so that we can extend them and push them through the tail into the fuselage where we can actually connect them to the electronic speed controller Now that I extended the wires with some soldering, I actually drilled a hole. This is how I wired, how I inserted the wires into the carbon tube. And now they're here on this side. And it's important to mark each of them because later we need to know how to hook them, in what order to hook them into the electronic speed controller. Because we also need to wire the servo wires inside of it, I attach them to a string and duct tape them together so that I can pull them all the way to the other side. And that actually worked. Now the motor wires are inside, they're routed to the fuselage and so are two of the servos, the servo wires. All right, next order of business. So I bought these airplane hinges, but unfortunately they stick out way too much. So I don't think they're going to work uh, and we're going to have to resort to the paper ones, which doesn't seem very reliable, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Because for this to work, I would need to modify the designs of the wings. Let's do a stress test. These are the ones that are suggested for small planes. I can try to tear it apart. It doesn't work. Maybe if I do this and even if I try to do this, it doesn't break. Like this thing is tough. I'm not sure how it reacts to water, but so far so good. So I think I figured how this works. Let me show you. So first we remove the arm from the servo. Then we take one of these little pieces and the carbon rod goes through it. And when you add it, when you insert it here, we need to secure it. And for that, we have these little parts here. And when you insert it, essentially that locks it in place and it can only rotate. And that's good because we can then enter the carbon tube right through it and it will rotate freely. And then we secure the carbon tube with a screw on the top. This is the final form. We have secured it here, here on the underside and the screw on top of the arm. So it should be ready. <laughs> 